Design fiction is a way of sketching. It's a way of kind of thinking about possible outcomes without having to be too precious about it. It sort of brings the pragmatics of design, in other words, actually creating material objects, with the uh, the characteristics of science fiction, which is, you know, in its remit, if there were one, it would say, you're meant to think about what could be. It allows us to kind of try out a lot of different scenarios and a lot of different ideas very quickly. So bringing those two things together, sort of very imaginative terrain with the material making characteristics of design to make what I would describe as basically props. They sit in a room and they're the thing around which a story evolves. For me it's, it's more about illuminating some kind of social possibilities around this stuff or highlighting some of the things that we sort of take for granted in society in terms of the way we speak about things, the way we think about things, and highlighting them and going like, is this, is this what we want? Do you just want to put this one in a box and say, yeah, we're all going to do it that way? Or do we want to possibly rethink our approach to this? You can't help but reflect on, you know, careful what you wish for. What are the consequences and implications of those things that we desire? One of the key examples would be the flip phone. You know, by the time it actually arrived, we'd, we'd been seeing it for 20, 30 years on Star Trek, you know, the, uh, the communicator. Kirk to Enterprise. Oh. You know, so when, when we got one, it was like, oh, right, of course. It's not that the objects themselves are perfectly designed, it's that they're provocations or questions or they're just opening new ranges for exploration. And kind of um, a propaganda of the deed. Like, is this real? Is it, is it fake? And you're just sort of taking the point of view, well, it doesn't matter. And that's because these props are meant to be things that sort of, that they activate the imagination. Design has a long tradition in, in creative, uh, speculative products or speculative uh, ideas about the, the future or a critique of the, uh, of, the, the, of the present. We are interested in the commoditization, the mass marketization of, of objects. It might be related to our interest in how uh, cinema or Hollywood movies are uh, using fake objects. We're interested in diegetic prototypes. Objects that can be part of a plot, that can be part of a conversation, and that are more important in terms of their implication than in terms of their actual usage. It's just a lot more effective, and I think a lot more modern, to try and encapsulate these things as prototypes, and just kind of like throw them over the wall. I mean wrap them up as if they were objects that were, that were already there. Design has always seen itself as working on tangible problems of right now. And anything else is just art or sort of self-indulgent. But to say like, well, no, actually, maybe we will try to solve some. We will take the, the approach and the tools that we have as designers and try to imagine how we would solve future worlds, you know, fictional scenarios. Uh, as a way to inform the practice, uh, I think is kind of useful, it's good. That's something that we can do cheaply that used to be super expensive, difficult and arcane to do. One of the benefits of design fiction is that it provides a playful and experimental environment to try out new ideas without actually having to put those ideas into production. I can take uh, something I want to build a story around and, and create an object for that story but the object itself is not really important whether or not it works. And that can start a conversation for designers, but also for storytellers. Uh, it allows us to meet. A lot of science fiction is escapist. And it really diverts attention away from what's happening here on Earth, that all of the science fiction that's out there in the universe kind of suggests that we can just burn through the planet we have right now. And it seems a little irresponsible. You know, who are those people who are imagining what, uh, what things will be like. Our science fiction writers uh, aren't necessarily doing that. I think the aim of design fiction is to promote thinking about alternatives to the way things are currently designed. That you can kind of step outside uh, the preconceived notions of where things are headed, the preconceived legal or um, social or design aesthetic frameworks that we've developed, and occasionally that will provide um, an opportunity to see see things in a slightly different light. In this wonderfully uh, engaging sort of playful terrain between 
science fact and science fiction really insert ourselves in there and find the ways in which we can use that liminal space as a space of creativity.